Hello YouTube, it's TBN Game here, bringing you a sneak peek report of Comic Style Volume 1. Uh, you're easy to sleep. Yeah, you're in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long day, guys. <laughs> long, long day. But yeah, um, so, yeah, so to start off with, um, the organisation was slightly better this time. The turnout wasn't so good. But, but I think that was due to... Uh, I think it's because of the contents in here was quite specific to what people wanted. It wasn't quite as varied as actual box because it's, it's just, only an extra booster. Yeah, it's another tournament going on as well. Yeah, yeah it's another tournament for uh, yeah, different kind of game. But yeah, um, so the same setup as last yeah, time. Same setup as last time. Six packs. Um, it went three to the left and three to the right this time, which was better. But some people open packs faster than others, which kind of confused people because <laughs> yeah. I ended up having one card less. But thanks to a good friend, I got an extra grade three. Now explain why I needed it so badly later. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. So the promo for today was Gyro, which is one of the Royal Paladins. It's like Rock the Wolf or Dark Irregulars. Or is it Spike Rose? No, it's Dark Irregulars. Yeah. Guard with it. Guard with it. Goes Woo! So, yeah. got that. Again, at the end of the day, so you can actually use it in your deck. Yep, so because all three of us went, that's three for Aaron. Aaron just got one more. Again, Yay. my friend. <laughs> again, my friend. friend so. As for our results, unfortunately, Michael didn't get his unbeatable record like last time. No, so. my reputation was scarred. Regardless, we still topped ish. Well, Aaron came. I came second. Aaron came second. He stumbled at the end. And I came third. So we both got our mats, matching mats. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that is that. <laughs> As for the day, though, well, oh, wait, 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 we've got, wait, we've got. Yeah, yeah, Yuri. Yuri, where'd you come, Yuri? Yuri, you came like fourth or something. <laughs> it wouldn't have been fourth because you would have got math. No, it was, no, because it was all joint third. Oh yeah, it was. There wasn't were three it? people in third place, and I was fourth. <laughs> yeah. By a so point. technically fifth. By a point, I was fourth. <laughs> Just look at that going. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Right, so, as for how the day actually went, apart from that, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of stories today. <laughs> yeah. Well, to start off with, um, I, I think we can talk about our decks, or what we made and whatnot. If you last time, I kind of implement stories around it. Yeah, so... so uh, what was your main key cards, Aaron? Well, my starter was a Battle Riser, which is well, very well, handy. Okay, okay, this way. Yuri, your, your deck was pretty... Uh, Really, it, Yuri managed to pull a Miss Mist. Miss. Um, how that, that work for you? The only word for people who, who are just stuck on grade two. Other than that, it's just eh. Yeah. I mean, you know, they just. Like, yeah. But uh, being stuck on grade two apparently was a huge advantage to a <laughs> day. <laughs> because having Twin Drive in a deck where you in a deck you shouldn't, I want to point this out, you shouldn't have many triggers, sucks. So the only upside for pulling. Miss Splendor. Miss Splendor was the fact that they couldn't intercept. So they were sitting with their grade twos everywhere and not being able to use them for guard. Yeah. But again, the twin driving to nothing. Just decked you out. Yeah. The, every time. Or well, nearly every there's time. There's a grade one. Alright, right. I thought I needed grade one in getting the cards. So I went after the sage. <laughs> dude. Is that one? Could be XP, but he wasn't. It was already rare. The problem is, he's mandatory. I needed him because I wanted grade one so I could, you know, ride and compete. <coughs> problem is, because he's mandatory, most of the time, I'm just. I'm, actually, every time I use this effect, it was a trigger. It was a trigger I just milled. I was like, I can't ride a trigger. Go to the drop zone. So you have one card less in your deck. So I have one card less in the deck, and I'm twin driving. I just needed the boost, so I had to use it, and it just. Stay so that pretty much I sums up your day, doesn't it? <laughs> Sucks. Right? The, the reason I wanted to do is go first is so I can pretty much mirror you and talk about my deck. Yeah. Okay, you. that's fair enough. Okay, so, so our starters pretty much Rises. were always we'll that just, was galore. The, the fact it was a reprint in here just made it a lot of voltage makers. But I'd rather keep the heel in there early and then yeah. put the stand back. So that's why that. Okay. Any other great zeros? <laughs> um, I can talk about my triggers. No, or no, my, my the great <laughs> zero that helped me was Cat Butler. <laughs> I had it at the back because um, I'm actually glad it helped because there were a lot. Never... <laughs> because there were a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of grade twos in here. Um, if they my vanguard didn't hit, I could retire it, restand, and try again. But it was literally a 
push for game thing. I never thing. saw anyone use that. You say you used it, but I never saw it myself. It's a push for game thing. It was just they couldn't guard my attack, so just to make sure. Since we're that... talking about grade zeros, I'll tell you what helped me out. Well, I'm not only got the one crit, but it doesn't matter because I had that many triggers. <laughs> How many is that, Aaron? Including Battle Riser, that's ten triggers. <laughs> How many did I get? Five. How many did Yuri get? Uh, about, you know, five. <laughs> what? five. So you had double the amount of everyone else because you hogged all the triggers. And they kept going back, so I kept technically having And Gibble Pet kept giving them to you. Uh, hey, thank beyond you. me. Thank Yuri for half of them. Really? I need a grade one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. <laughs> Yeah, and that basically sums up the next problem of the it's day. It's complete sacrilege on his part. The next problem of the day was basically grade ones. Might as well get out Well, no, don't that. get them all out. Just say which one's helped. No, because they all helped, because that's all I had. <laughs> that's all you had? What? I had five grade ones. What? I hate you even I more. I could now. not get... I know, right? Yeah, it was so hard to pick up grade ones for me. It wasn't for me. I had such an issue getting it. You had five, I had seven. Except, I wanted <coughs> eight, but I've only found seven. But I found more grade twos. But anyway, <laughs> the, grade, the grade ones that helped me is, that's nice. Because if you ride it as a grade one, I called it as my rear guard for the turn. It swung for ten. Yeah, that's good. Because I only there. had the one, so that doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, and the other one was um, Rising something Custom. that helped my... Oh yeah, Riser Custom. I, I had that in my deck as well. Which is behind the Battle Riser. In front of. In front of the Battle Riser. So it's a bit of 12. 12. I used it against you because that's all I had. But no. That was the best thing. The fact I could use it as a booster, but if I guard with it, Counter Blast it becomes a 10k shield. Yeah, that but, helped me throughout the But my well. grade 2. Oh my lord, it helped. That was my pull. That was one of my two pulls for the day. I got one too. Yeah, so every time Battle Riser went back, I ended up sitting there swinging on the side, just for 16, 16, like that, so just, it's a lovely little yeah. column. Just added pressure in the game which was needed and it could hit past the 11s that were rare and around though. From a Slaughter, won me a few games, matched it for 20, 25 a few turns, just that last push yeah, that was needed. Yeah, I, I had that as well, I don't know why I didn't take it out, <laughs> but yeah. Spike Bounce was actually surprisingly helpful. Attack, attack, if they hit the vanguard, because the restrictions are lifted, he'll get 3k, which means he can swing for 11. Very handy. But if not, you can just go intercept, intercept. <laughs> and yeah, then stricken, okay, which was just boss. You know, I, did, I did it a few times, I rode it. So I didn't get a drive check, no, but well, uh, next turn. Ride my 11k grade 3. Boss. So that, that's, that's nice, Aaron. That's lovely. And I swim with a crit. <laughs> Okay, so there's, there's Aaron's lovely little deck. He's got a lovely little grade 3 that's actually something I wanted. I pulled the one he wanted, but unfortunately it wasn't as helpful. <laughs> Even though I had the lovely little cards in with the scarred power, I could ride that if I wanted to, but God help me if I did. Um, anything that hits, puts up to 11. Makes a lovely little column. Hmm. My only grade 3, until I previously mentioned I got given that, as my second grade 3. How many grade 3s did you have? I actually had two, but one of them traded away, but yeah. Okay, so you had two grade threes, exactly the same as me. It was Savage King, the Tachikaze one. Okay, um, yeah, so it's that. My only grade three was your grade three, Golden Beast Tamer. <laughs> and I, I lost three games because of this. At least three games, because I remember three off the top of my head. Why did you end up losing those, Mike? Because it has a restraint. And the restraint to unrestraint it for that turn, not even permanently, is to Soul Blast 3. And I can't Soul Charge. The only ways I found to do it was riding, that was my Grade 1. When I rode my Grade 2, it Soul Charges 2. So that way I could ride Soul Blast and attack for the turn. Either that, or one game I had, that's my Vanguard, somehow, and this in hand. I was waiting for that turn to push and go, wah. Yeah. But it didn't make a difference because my field wouldn't have beaten yeah. past a barrier. So, although it was a grade 3 that could help you, one at the of end the of the day, it was the only card in the entire pack that screws anyone over because you just yes, can't. But I had get to have it, didn't I? See, I don't know. And I was against you. you. <laughs> That's the only one that screwed people over. But I went against Imperial Daughter, and that actually didn't benefit them as much as I think they thought it would. Like, the whole having no field for the 10k and a crit. It's lovely in like theory, 
but in practice I could just guard it pretty pretty confident they're not going to get two triggers. Um, and just, yeah, they had no other attacks, it was just that guard. And each time they were using it, they would sacrifice their field to get it. So I was fine going, yeah sure, you get rid of your field, just so I can guard easy. Yeah, it's 9, I have now hit 11, so every one of my grade 2s at 9k is just going, what do you want me to do? <laughs> but, yeah. like, just, other, other than that, it's just dropping a boost again over it. It was too easy to guard, and with all the grade zeros just lying around in the deck, it was just too easy to, like, stop it. And they just kept decking out. I'm quite surprised about that. I just think that they just... they Because like, I would have thought, you know, 21 is still, against most cards, of... 20, it was 20 for two triggers. It was 20 for two but triggers. I could do that every turn because I didn't need to worry about any other cards. So I, my guard wasn't going anywhere else. Well, considering Aaron had all the triggers, it didn't <laughs> really matter. But no, um, this is an additional thing. The one time I did, I actually did confidently ride it once because they were on four damage. They had like, three cards in hand and I assumed all these columns would win. Yeah, they, guarded, they guarded it. Uh, they, they healed on the fifth damage and I was like, oh, balls. And then I, 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 my columns were terrible. They were just like, I was like, oh, just I, that's all I could do every turn was that because it can't attack. <clears throat> so I lost that game because of that. The other, the other games I drew it, and it just it, it's as if I didn't. I, I just actually put it down in front of me. It's, I couldn't use it. There is no way. So I blame Aaron for that. Why is it me? Because your card. You didn't have to pick it. You put... Oh, you passed on a double <laughs> rare, you mad boy, for a heel trigger, and you didn't have enough triggers, No, it, was, it wasn't a heel trigger. It was a grade one. Whatever. They gave it to me, so... No, I didn't. I gave it to um, someone else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, then you. <laughs> well, you can't mind too much. You still got top yeah, four. You still got a mat. You didn't get destroyed by him. Wait, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he sacked me. <laughs> and then I got bloody... Grade 3 locked because I couldn't ride it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yeah. that was the main issue. The fact that grade 1s were hard to come by. And 2s were threes. just ridiculous. Every card left was a grade 2. <laughs> yeah. I had 12 grade 2s. I had about 12 as well, I think. It was literally grade 2 rush every game you went against. Insane. And well, then, generally, if you, if those people didn't get the grade 3, they would win because they wouldn't deck out. Yeah, it seemed such a <laughs> disadvantage to get... Like if they had didn't get grade three, then you would usually think, oh, grade lock, I'm kind of if you've, done if you, here. If you've but, guarded well all game and then got the field presence to yeah, make yeah. you guard, then they're going to deck out. It was just, yeah. It just seemed like a very unbalanced sneak peek. It was an extra booster that you have to bear some. Yeah, I know. It's a weird, it was a weird thought that, I mean, I, I knew it was coming, but I didn't think they sort of would because they, there isn't that many cards to make sort of a deck and all the yeah. grade threes pretty much are just rare. I didn't realise that, that was, was up double, I, well rares and up. We thought the grade ones would be the hardest to come by and they were pretty hard, but I I overlooked the grade threes. I didn't realise there was just rares and a bulb. That's insane. Yeah. I assumed I'd be able to find more than <clears throat> I, I I if if a friend didn't give me that, I wouldn't have been able to get to grade three at all. It I, won me a couple of games I'm just like, finding it. I got every grade three I could find and that says something when you're gonna come across two. Mm. Like, I only come across, and that's a rare, so I'm taking the rare from the pack, given off pretty much the triggers. Sure. Yeah. Or the grade ones, but it's because I was like, I, at some point, I would, I think, I thought sitting behind the grade three would help. I just never, just I just never found one, it was just horrible luck. Yeah, it's still an okay day at the end of the day. It was a joy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, hopefully. The next sneak peek will be a lot better because it's set eight. Yes, that's quite a bit to look forward Armada to. With Aquaforce, New Neonators, Touchy Kaze support. Ooh. Yeah. Love to look forward to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, looking at the new Murakuma card as well, um, it's intrigued me to actually pick up the deck <laughs> because half because I couldn't get rid of the cards, <laughs> no one wants them, and half because I, all I needed was a little push. So yeah, hopefully you might be able to get one of those when he gets a bit more support. <laughs> yeah, if some of those car fights up, but yeah, other than that, that that's... is our tournament report for Comic Style Volume 1, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to 
rate, comment and subscribe below and we'll see you next time.